Good morning. Uh, Jim, thank you for that kind introduction, and it's uh, great to be here uh, representing Edelman and in partnership with the Bay Area Council, so uh, thank you for this opportunity. As um, Gary just finished talking about the reset of the economy and its implications for the Bay Area, and we want to use the next period of time to talk about the reset of the state of trust, um, which uh, has been rather significant uh, given the last period of time during the recession. Uh, and uh, as Jim mentioned, uh, Edelman's been doing the trust barometer for 10 years, conducting it on a global basis. Uh, it's introduced annually at the World Economic Forum. Uh, and just to give you a little bit of additional grounding into what we're going to drive through this morning, uh, it is a study that looks at 22 countries. Uh, we added the uh, United uh, Arab Emirates this year and Singapore. Uh, and we speak to opinion elites, informed publics, really uh, individuals such as yourselves, uh, college educated, high household income, and indicate that they are um, m heavy media consumers in terms of their daily consumption of four to five different media sources on, on a given daily basis. So they're actively involved in business, community, society, uh, and engaged. Uh, and so that's really the, the sort of the grounding in, in what we uh, look to accomplish. Uh, and in terms of the uh, set of folk that we're um, asking about, we're asking about the nature of trust. And at the root of that, it really is to what degree do you believe an institution will do the right thing? And the institutional sets that we ask about are in the broadest sense, again, much of what's on the agenda today and or represented by the speakers. It's business, it's government, it's media, uh, and it's NGOs, non-governmental organizations, Bay Area Council being obviously a, a great example of that. Um, the headline for this year and the, the um, interesting piece of, of uh, over the course of the 10 years has been the very real nature of the way in which trust um, changes from year to year. And trust is up, so there's good news. Um, trust across all of our institutions, and I'll get into the data, is up, but it's fragile, and we'll get into that in a little bit. And Gail will talk about the different nature of trust and share California-specific data uh, that we did uh, this year that I think will prove quite interesting. Um, the, na the nature of the trust is fragile because there's reasonable skepticism um, uh, as it relates to how uh, these institutions will behave in recovery. Um, and the largest sort of takeaway for us in this year's study is the true shift and largely, I think, driven over the last 18 months away from being a shareholder-driven society that's really focused solely and primarily on um, sort of the street to being uh, much more a stakeholder society. And you see this, the, all the various stakeholders that can be at play in changing trust in an institution. And I think um, at the top of mind in thinking about trust for all of us uh, today is, is how fast trust can change and be lost. When you think about BP, Goldman Sachs, Toyota, as, in, as enterprises in the last period of time that have really seen significant erosion in trust that shows up in loss of sales, loss of capitalization, um, and, and the prospect of, of true regulatory reform. So while trust is up, um, there is this concern about how strong that trust recovery is. And to begin to get into a little bit of the data, um, the institutions uh, on a global and U.S. basis, the um, green on the left is trust on a global report level, and then on the right, it's trust in the U.S. And NGOs um, are the most trusted in the, by the U.S. Um, and, and score just generally, we'll get into this in a little bit, um, particularly well. And probably I think it's a degree to which NGOs are viewed as a little bit of a check on society and a check on business um, and partnership. Um, media less trusted, uh, although there's um, uh, some good news relative to the way the U.S. in particular looks at media. Uh, in particular, um, I'm thinking for, for Mary and other folks here from the, the media uh, world, uh, trust in business media is in particular uh, very important. Uh, trust in all institutions rose in the U.S. over the past year, um, quite significantly, an 18-point um, increase um, in, in trust in institutions, uh, NGOs, and a trust in business. Uh, and the interesting thing here has been, in over the course of the 10 years, actually trust might have risen in business and declined in government, 
We saw that in 2004 when uh, the Iraq war was escalating. There was a significant drop both in the U.S. and globally in trust in government, um, and business rose. And so there was always this trade-off. This is the first year we've ever seen in the U.S. where all institutions received a recovery. Uh, the increase in trust in business um, is noteworthy in the U.S. in as much as in 2009 we had a 22-point drop in trust in business. Pretty logical given the state of the economy. Um, we've recovered that 18 points. It's not a whole recovery, but it in fact is a recovery. On a global basis, um, better constancy year on year in the BRIC um, nations. Uh, and I know India is uh, following on in the next um, session, uh, and they've remained reasonably stable in terms of trust in business um, in India. Uh, and some, you know, interesting uh, d a decline in Russia in terms of trust in business, which maybe is reflective of a little bit of concern over the nature of, of oligarchs and the, their society. Trust in government also remains stable in, in many countries, although we did see a pretty dramatic uptick in um, trust in governments in the U.S. Uh, with a 16-point increase. And while this survey was fielded in the no November-December time frame, I, I do think that there was still a bit of an Obama halo effect, or honeymoon effect, being felt uh, in terms of the um, uh, recovery of trust in government. And also, last year's survey and this year's re-echoed it again. There's enormous expectation by those we study about the importance of um, partnership between business and government and particularly in moving the economy forward. Um, so there is this expectation on the part of those surveyed uh, that uh, government and uh, business will work uh, hand in hand. Uh, and again, you see this um, continued drop in um, Russia of, of a 10 points in terms of trust in government. So there's a cynicism there, um, I think. We psychographically break up um, the trust buckets al along the following lines. There's a, a, sex a skeptical group um, the skeptics tend to be uh, UK, Germany, Italy, who in terms of their trust levels over the course of the 10 years have ridden the, in the lower um, 30s. Um, there's the pragmatists, and that tends to be the US, um, Australia, Canada, who uh, we have variables over the course of the performance of the economy of the last 10 years, but for the most part ride in the mid 40s to the 50s, and then the optimists tend to be very much um, the BRIC countries uh, and developing nations, uh, where their expectation and belief in both business and government uh, as key to movement forward for their societies is particularly keen. Uh, NGOs, just to put a spotlight on that, this has been a very interesting story over the arc of the 10 years. Um, the trust in NGOs in each of our um, sort of market um, buckets has risen uh, consistently over the, l the life of our study, and now there's really trust parity that exists um, in all of these countries. Uh, China maybe is one of the more interesting um, markets for us in, in terms of its um, evolution in understanding the role of NGOs in their society uh, and the visibility and awareness of organizations like Environmental Defense and others who've gone into China and are working with MNCs and or the Chinese government on issues associated with labor, health, uh, poverty, and so there's a, now an appreciation with, in China uh, for the uh, value of a, 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 and trust in NGOs. Move this along here. We do also a study uh, of, of industry segments, and I think this is particularly in interesting to deliver to the Bay Area. Um, the technology as a sector is the most trusted industry globally. Um, also in the U.S., it's actually just by a percentage point more trusted than the global um, cohort. Uh, biotech follows as number two. So when you think of the Bay Area's um, driving industries and the sense of um, innovation that's coming uh, from the companies in this area, uh, that I think holds uh, the region in good stead. Uh, the, we don't have a lot of detail behind why technology and biotech are, s are most trusted. My um, hypothesis is they are heavily, um, industries that are heavily oriented towards R&D, problem solving, um, and innovation, and, and really innovation around the problems of society, uh, whether it be technological or healthcare. 